Hello everyone, how are you doing? You are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new here, my name is Henrietta. All we do here is to pray. I guide you on what to do to attract your success, to attract your open doors, to receive your blessing always from God. I teach you how to pray the best way to approach your prayers to God to get speedy answers. Lots of testimonies are coming in. Always pay attention to my community post so that you will always get these testimonies. May God bless you. Please subscribe if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you share this with your friends. So today, we are going to pray against every evil word spoken. There are many of you, the reason why you are still at that spot is because of the evil words you speak against yourself. Because of the evil words you speak against yourself. These words you utter from your mouth can stop you. These words you utter from your mouth can stop your progress, can hold you down. The devil can use these words to tie down your blessing. Many of you, you use your mouth to tie your blessing. When another person curses you or says anything evil against you, it is easier to break than the one you say against yourself. In your tongue lie the power of life and death. And I'm going to show you a scripture, the words of the Lord backing this up. The words you use can be used against you. God can use your own words to punish you. Or to bless you. So why I am making this video, I want you to be cautious of the words that comes out of your mouth. God takes account of every word you say, whether causes to others. If you are the type you cause others, there are people they cause a lot. The moment you cause people, it goes back to you except they truly deserve that cause. If you are the type you cause unnecessarily, you are mad, you are stupid, idiot, it will bounce back to you. That is the truth. When you use your mouth to cause, to speak evil words against yourself, against your progress, how do you expect to grow? Where will the growth come from? It is your mouth that controls your destiny. It is your mouth that controls your progress. Many of you, you have already used your mouth to scatter your blessing and your progress long time ago. I'm going to share this simple story with you to show you the implication of every evil word spoken. A woman was barren for many years, many years, and she has gone to different hospital, herself and her spouse. Medically, they are okay. She always goes into warfare prayer. All my enemies be destroyed. But nothing is working. If your enemies are not responsible, nothing will work. So after suffering, receiving insult, mockery for so long, she went to a good church. She left her church. See, if you don't attend a good church, you better leave. There are some churches... They are just established for money. I am not judging. So make sure you attend a good church and you have a powerful man of God or woman of God. So she went to a good church. And as a woman of God was preaching, she said, there is a woman who is looking for the fruit of the womb for so many years. And this is your name. See me after the service. It was after the whole thing. She came back for testimony and we were all there. That was how I got this story. The woman of God told her, there was a word you said at a point. She was actually trying to convince somebody about something. To show the person she was not lying and she was swearing. If I'm not saying the truth, let me not give birth. And actually, she was saying the truth, but the worst she has spoken. He's too much more than the situation. 
No need to convince people by swearing. Either they believe or not. But for you to start swearing, true to God, true to God, that is an abomination for you to bring God into casual issues. Or for you to swear with your womb, I will never get married. Good things will not happen to me. Even though you are innocent, that word spoken out can bounce back to you. Don't feel that it is only when you are guilty that the cause work on you. No. Devil can use your words against you. You don't need to swear to convince anybody. You don't need. That word was used against her for many years until she was delivered. So be careful of the words you say. At times, they might not be causes directly, negative or trans. I also know of a man who was also delivered from an evil word. He is always speaking. I don't always succeed. Ah, I don't always succeed. I don't know why. And I know that that is a common word many people utter. Whenever he is doing something and that thing does not work, he always says this word. Whenever things are not working, he is always complaining like this. Just like many of you. These words held him down. And because of that, he never succeeded. He never. Until he was delivered. That you did not succeed in this one, or you have never succeeded, does not mean you should proclaim into your star that you don't ever succeed. That is a big word. I'm always poor. I see such words at the comment section. Woman of God, pray for me. I am always poor. You are cursing yourself. I lack money at the moment. You saying you are always poor. Your life is always difficult. You are cursing yourself. You are declaring and prophesying into your stars. And in case I have not told you, in this world, spiritually, we have the angels of God and the agents of darkness and the agents of darkness. So whenever you say everything negative, the agent of darkness takes it, whether you mean it or not. There is power in your word. There is power in your mouth. Immediately, you lay an utterance. A seed falls. The message is being delivered. You don't know how powerful your mouth is spiritually. And that is why some people, they lay curses. It works. It works. Me, even when I am facing difficulty, it is well. I know I am successful. I know I will make it. I know I am a success. I know I am favored. I know God will do it. I know I will make it. It is a matter of time. I always prophesy and speak this positive words to myself. So let's look at the Bible. Matthew 12 verse 36. You can be sure that on judgment day, everyone will have to give account of every useless word he has ever spoken. Your words will be used to judge you, to declare you either innocent or guilty. I'm using good news version. You can be sure that on judgment day, everyone will have to give account of every useless word he has ever spoken. Your word will be used to judge you. So God will declare you innocent or guilty based on your words. Now you are seeing this from the scripture. Jesus Christ was actually saying this in Matthew 12 verse 36. God will use your words to judge you. All of the useless words to judge you. All of the negative words to judge you. And at times, your judgment starts from this word. People who always prophesy negative things never succeed. People who always call themselves failure. Things don't always work out. Hey, I don't die. God forbid, not me. I'm giving an instance. So use three days to beg God to forgive you of every evil word spoken. Every evil word you have spoken against yourself, against others from birth to date, that is holding you and stopping you. Oh Lord, have mercy. 
and break them. Oh Lord, have mercy and break them in the name of Jesus. Do that for three days and change. Always speak positive things into your business, into your job. Even when at present it is not working, there is no hope of growth. But don't say it is not growing. Don't say I am not making it. Don't say that. Always be positive. I know you will grow. You will grow very fast. Devil is a liar. I always talk like that. I know I will make it. I know this thing will work. Devil is just trying me. I know my God. It will work. Even when I try, no result. I try again. When you fall seven times, you rise up seven times. Because you know the God you serve. Being persistent brings miracle. Good things does not come easily. Nothing good comes easily. At times, you are bound to fail. But don't call yourself a failure. And don't see yourself a failure. And by so doing, God will see you in success. So I hope that is taken. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, I bring your people before you. I ask you to show them mercy. Every evil word that they have spoken negatively against themselves, knowingly and unknowingly, oh Lord, have mercy. Have mercy and destroy the effectiveness of these words. Oh Lord, do not judge them with their words. Oh Lord, have mercy. They are willing to take a new step. Oh Lord, have mercy. Every word we have spoken knowingly and unknowingly against others that is bouncing back to us against us every evil word we have spoken against our business against our work against our sources against our good news oh lord have mercy we plead the blood of jesus to wash everything away the blood of jesus the blood of jesus the blood of jesus oh lord together we come to you and promise you we will never do it again we will be mindful of the words we say from now on oh lord do not judge us with the words we have spoken in the past because these people they were ignorant now that they know they will try to change oh lord have mercy let there be sources in their life let their doors open let every cause every evil word that is manifesting against them be broken permanently with the blood of Jesus. It is done. But see on your own. Ask for mercy for three days. Tell God to break every evil word that has come out of your mouth. God created your mouth as a vessel of blessing, not of course. If you can do this for three days, you will see the difference in your life. You will see the difference. I told one woman this. She comes to me for spiritual guidance every time. We try this, no result. We try this, no result. It was later on, it was revealed that there are words blocking her. Words from her mouth because we have broken every curse laid on her. But not the one she laid on herself. We pray this for three days. Oh Lord, break every evil word we have spoken against our business, against our life, against our sources, against our children, especially children, parents, especially mothers. Be careful of the words you speak into your children. The cause of a parent can destroy a child's life, especially the cause from a mother. You carry that child in your home, no matter how bad they are. Go down on your knees and pray for them. Because if you lay a curse on them, you have killed them. Just know that when you lay a curse on your child, you have killed them. It is hard to break maternal curse. Very hard. I know many people who have died prematurely. Many people who have been poor for many years. Many people who have been stagnant. Nothing is working because of maternal curses. When your mother curses you, your word stops. Whether you like it or not, whether your mother is good or not, whether your mother is a witch or not, whether your mother took care of you or not, when your mother lays a curse on you, your word stop. Your progress stop. Everything good that was coming stop. Everything in your life will stand. That is delay and stagnancy. 
until you go and beg and make sure they forgive you. For a mother, maternal cause can destroy your destiny. Maternal cause can destroy your growth. It can stop you in all areas. There are many of you, you have not actually traced the problem. So that is why you should always learn to care for your mothers. Especially, I'm not saying you should not do that for your fathers. Your mother, you cannot have money and abandon your mother. Even if she did not take care of you, she carried you in her womb and gave birth to you. That is the highest blessing. Many women abort children. She did not abort you. Even if she gave birth to you and gave you out, but she pushed you out. Labor takes life. Many women die. Some women die through labor. That is another word, a level of pain. You grew inside her. So be careful of maternal cause. Always show love to your mother. Just like maternal blessing can transform your life. When you have your mother's blessing, you have the whole world at your feet. Thank you for watching. May God bless you.